Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson's weighing in on President Donald Trump's claim that he was considering sending undocumented immigrants to so-called sanctuary cities. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live in studio with the new details. Eric? Shannon, Sheriff Hodgson has been a longtime supporter of President Trump and his immigration policies. Despite the White House saying the sanctuary city idea was never seriously being considered, the president's tweets say otherwise, and Sheriff Hodgson seems to be in favor. Ever since being first reported last week, the president's plan to move illegal immigrants to sanctuary cities has gained a lot of attention. Bristol County, Massachusetts Sheriff Thomas Hodgson backed the idea on Fox and Friends Monday morning. These people who are saying we're going to decide what laws to follow or not and create these sanctuaries and attract these criminally illegal aliens, well, you know what? God bless them. They can, they can have those people in their communities. And, and why should we punish the people in those communities where the elected officials are standing with the president to uphold the laws of this nation? They have a right to be safe. Hodgson visited the White House in February, meeting with the president and other sheriffs about border security. On Monday, the president tweeted, those illegal immigrants who can no longer be legally held will be subject to homeland security given to sanctuary cities and states. In Rhode Island, Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza has called the capital city a sanctuary city. The suggestion of doing something that, like that is really irresponsible. As an executive, as a leader, to think that you would put, um, make people or use them as bargaining chips, that's just irresponsible. Keep in mind, if these people are pushed to the sanctuaries, be much easier for ICE. We'll know where they all are. And Mayor Lorza also questioned whether the president will follow through with this, saying he wants to see more details before he takes the idea seriously. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.